Hi guys, Charin from Sipu Park Trophy. Um, it's been quite a while, quite a while since my last video. I've uh, been quite busy with a lot of stuff um, with the Sipu Park um, Trophy um, number one, which just finished uh, about a month ago. Uh, it was a huge success. Uh, again, we had a lot of um, participants from all over of, all over Malaysia. Um, for the first time, we had participants from Borneo as well. And as predicted, those guys are really, really good. Um, they won quite a lot. Um, myself, I got second place in um, class one. Um, enough about that. Um, for today, I would like to do a quick update on my projects. Um, the current project which I've just finished is my D90 uh, Land Rover Khan. And I will talk about another project which I'm going to take up in a short while so this um, Land Rover is, is, is a class 1 uh, <clears throat> in the previous comp I used my class 2 rig supposed to be in a class 2 section uh, to play in class 1 and change up the tires put up the bumpers uh, quite a lot of stuff so I wasn't quite comfortable because this fellow um, had uh, a little bit of hiccup while I was building it so anyway um, just one update so this is my um, D90 can if you can see here let me just bring it closer yep you can see um, the front part with the Land Rover logo and if I can just show you right under the uh, winch there's also another Defender logo I haven't put up the lights light buckets and lights and all it's my least favorite part of building a rig i really really don't like the the idea of putting too much lights i just want to keep it to uh, very minimal um so anyway um just gonna show you around first this is the side panel this is a, a can concept the back part here with my name um, the flag and some uh, and a jerry can um, on the other side here as well so <coughs> this is basically the normal uh, what do you call that D90 body which you can get a lot of in the market um, particularly one in 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 uh, there's there's a uh, there's there's one, which is the normal one without the can body without without the can panel. Sorry, not the body, the can panels and all. So um, the D ninety body I got it from Azetis. Um The can panels I got it from a Turkish guy. Uh, I can't really remember uh, Omar Khan, Omar Khan, something like that. His his name. Um, so I got it from him. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's about fifty dollars, fifty US dollars. Um, quite good, um, though you need to do a little bit of um, um, finishing uh, touch up on it. Uh, you have to put putty, putty, then this the stuff. Um, quite good, um, although I had a little bit of problem because I, I need to be honest here. Yeah, uh, on the front panel when I was um, spraying it. I left it out in the sun for a while, forgot about it, came back and it was a little bit bent. So I had a, that was the, 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 the whole hiccup for building this one. So I had to unbent it somehow. Um, um, it's pretty much okay, but um, wasn't quite satisfied with that. Uh, hopefully, uh, I don't know, maybe someone else is, is doing the, um, the, the can panel somewhere. I think there's also some Italian folks doing it. I don't know. Um, this is pretty good to me. Um, fits the purpose. Looks nice. Um, so I'm pretty much satisfied with it. <coughs> the bonnet bulge and also the um, air filter. I got it from UK. I uh, bought it from UK. I can't, can't really remember right now, but I got it from UK. Uh, it's quite cheap. Uh, just try to look around. I'll try to 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 hook up you guys with a, a with a link uh, at the bottom if I remember. I always forget about that. So 
um, I didn't <coughs> do too much of um, of an interior. I just put in the normal interior inside. Um, did some trimmings, a lot of trimmings actually, and try to fit. And I got this. And some looking dude. Um, really nice kill. Got it. I think it's it's. Uh, ah God. It's midnight, so I forgot a lot of stuff. Um, I got it from here from a local hobby shop, uh, quite cheap. Um, so anyway, um, um, let me just try and take out the body from the chassis for a bit, just to show you around. Okay, probably this is a good time to show uh, the front part. There you go. Yes, <coughs> the Land Rover. Silver logos, the Defender silver logos, and also the front grill, a real mesh grill. This is this is real. It's not it's not sticker. It's not something else. It's real. Um, um, it's available in Asiatis. Uh, it's pretty cheap and does the work. Um, let me just try to show you guys what I did with the panels as well. If I can show you, if you can see right here, if you can see right there, uh, crap. Ah. there's also the mesh, um, the, the same material with the, the, the front grill, mesh all over here, 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 at the back here, uh, here as well, and uh, everywhere is where it's supposed to be. Um, there is this um, fuel uh, panel here. Um, when you buy the, the 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 one from Turkey, uh, you get the fuel panel. But I'm just a bit too lazy to install it right now. I wanted to install the the fuel cap, but apparently, if you can see here, I'm missing the door handles, both sides, and also the fuel cap. I don't know where I put the plastic. I'll try to find it out um, soon enough. Um, at the inside part, I did a bit of trimming. Um, it's not really good to show, so I won't show it. Uh, but anyway, um, <coughs> for the paint job, I normally I'll use Krylon. Now I know that some people don't really like Krylon. They say it's 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 not that good. But for me, it does the job really really well because we do a lot of trailing some um, um, on the rocks, mud, yada yada yada. So the dirt comes off pretty easily and when we go uh, on the rocks um, um, you won't see that the the scratches that much uh, the Krylon is, is to me it's it's uh, quite a good um, um, uh, paint so okay that's on the body <coughs> well I'm gonna chase it to mount it on so actually I've mounted it on the um, Vatera standard K5 chassis. This is a standard one. I used the shortest. Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't use the, the the original link from Vatera. So anyway, I'll get to that in a short while. Um, standard for now. Standard moto from Vatera. Standard ESC. I'm using an MT4. It's inside here. The 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 receiver is inside here. Um, what I'm really excited about. <laughs> is a few stuff from boom racing numero uno the crate bit lock um it really looks sexy it is a uh, quite a light um, um bit lock it's really really light so um the body is heavy uh, some part of the the chassis is quite heavy uh, therefore, I really wanted a really, really light bidlock, and this uh, crate uh, bidlock is, is 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 really nice. If I'm not mistaken, this one is called the Sense Tom. Probably yes, I believe so. It's called the Sense Tom. <coughs> really like it. Uh, I have two right now. I have the Sense Tom and I also have the Gollum. Uh, both are really nice. Both are on my my rigs, my class. Class two rig is using Golem, is using Golem. Yes, my class two rig. Okay, and if you can see here, it's the boomerang type G. 
I really really love this stuff um, it gives you stability uh, whenever you go inside hills because I think the biggest problem for all um, hard body is, is, is when you go for side hills normally you are top heavy so when you go for side hill you can topple up topple topple over uh, quite easily um, luckily this shock is, is is it it gives you that that stability um, I would love to have it mounted slightly inclined to the inside on on on, on both sides um, at the back to uh, and at the back and the, at the front as well <coughs> to have a better stability and a lower height right height um, that's the type G I think this is the 100 mm um, gun metal it looks sexy it looks realistic it really suits the the, the, the hard body um, the next thing is the links these are all custom links from uh, Boom Racing as well usually available in SATs $5 for a pair it's quite cheap it's quite sturdy it looks good and it's light get the 7mm for the normal size uh, some normal diameter size I use a bit of spacer I'm using 70mm uh, at the front oh yeah 70mm at both front and, and back uh, and also 65 mm. I am using a GPM, GPM. Yeah, I'm using a GPM drive shaft, front and back. Um, also available in Azetis. Uh, <coughs> the winch is a three racing winch. Uh, pretty much everybody is selling it, um, but I bought mine from Azetis as well. Um, I also have. Uh, the hop ups for the C hub and knuckle and also the lockouts at the, at the back. Uh, this is a combo kit from 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 uh, Boom Racing as well. Uh, it's light, it's sturdy, it does the job pretty well so far. It's pretty good actually. Uh, then I also have a custom made front bumper. I would really love to have a, a minimal um, kind of um, um, bumper uh, at the front. And also at the back, I, we, I tried to emulate the normal Land Rover uh, back bumper and also the side rails and also have the spacing here and also some, uh, what do you call that, um, the strengthening of the side rails. Now, all the metal works again um, is done by none other than my favorite and good friend, Mr. K.S. Wong from Kajang. Kajang Fab, I think so. Um, um, it's, it's, it's been really good to me. Most of it, most of the time, I'll just tell him um, the designs that I want. He, he'll always, always alter it uh, the way he wants, uh, and I always, always respect that because I know um, most of the time he knows what. Not most of the time, all the time he knows what he's doing, and he is really giving me a lot of. Um, information and a lot of uh, um, um, what do you call this uh, what's the word again ah, never mind uh, uh, as a matter of fact uh, whenever he does it his way I always like it better um, okay I oh yeah one more thing my favorite tire for a class one it's uh, RC four wheel drive genius I love this tire it climbs everywhere. It climbs on, on slippery um, um, wood, slippery surfaces, rocks, everything. Uh, it's good on the mud. It throws the, 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 the debris away quite, quite, quite fast. Um, the only complaint that I have for RC four-wheel drive is the uh, form is just too squishy. It's just too soft. Um, this doesn't help on, on, on side hills. Luckily, I have the shocks to help it out. Um, I'm trying to source out uh, a new pair of um, 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 form inside it. Um, I think I will try to find a single stage because this is a, um, it's not too heavy. I don't know. Probably a single stage, probably a, a, a dual stage. I don't know. Not really sure about that yet. Um, I don't think s uh, CI has it, but um, I know. I'll try to find around the. Um, previous genius that I had, um, I've, I've actually put in the. 
aircon insulation form inside of it. It works, works wonders. Um, I really, really, really like it. Um, probably I'll try it again, but not sure. I'm trying to find, to find out whether I can get a, a, a ready-made form. Uh, okay, um, that's about it for the Land Rover. I uh, had a run today in uh, none other than City Park. Uh, it was a good run. I uh, went out with my friends. Hey, there were two Land Rovers on the maiden run today. Uh, four of them did quite well. Uh, I think I, I have to say I'm very satisfied with, with, uh, with what I have right now. Um, the K5 chassis is it's just a joy to drive. It's smooth, the gearing is smooth, everything transitions quite well. Um, it handles all the obstacles quite well. Uh, couple up with the, uh, the Type-G shocks. Uh, this one is pretty much a runner. Probably I'll just I have to do a little bit more trimmings and I have to do the lights installation. I hate it. Really hate installing lights. But never mind, I have to do it somehow. So that's it. Uh, 